Welcome back everybody, it's OG and I've built a Cirrus Vision SF50, otherwise known as the Cirrus Vision Jet. I built it because I just love this little thing. It is so beautiful and so well engineered. And yes, I don't have all the parts to make it look exactly like the original, but it's as close as I can get it and I think it's good enough. And we're going to see how well it flies. If it flies. Hopefully it flies. I made a few compromises. The wheels aren't quite where they should be. The tail isn't quite the right shape. But it's basically a Cirrus Vision jet. The Vision jet is basically the jet version of the Cirrus SR20 and SR22, all lovely aircraft. But this one, it's a special little thing. They just look so nice. I couldn't resist building one. It was a toss up between that and the Honda Jet, which I think I'll build too. Just not today. Or maybe later today. Bob, you're at the controls. Okay, this thing handles like a dog. And that's probably because the control surfaces wouldn't let me change the angle beyond 15 degrees. And also because I have a downward sloping engine. With practically no power. But apart from that, it's still a great little jet. I like it. Uh, I'm thinking of flying the archers, which I've never done before. Um, I just, I have so little elevator control. Uh, I can tilt down all right, sort of. But up, up is a problem. Oh well, let's wing it. Literally, with wings. I'm not making this turn. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Oh, I am not even closely lined up to where I want to be. Come on, turn, turn. Okay, now turn the other way. I've built this thing a little bit like a Tesla. The body panels need a little bit of alignment. Oh, actually, I know what that is. That's because the tail doesn't really attach to the body. I had to get creative in order to connect multiple things. Oh yeah! And we did it! My first arch in the Cirrus Vision Jet! Yeehaw! Okay, I've got one more little trick I want to show you before I try to land this thing. Haha, -ha, that's actually funny and you'll see why now. Hmm, those helipads look tempting. No, I can't land on a helipad. Not in the normal sense. Hmm, also that radio telescope. Hang on guys, I, I want to try something. I want to demonstrate the other capability to you. In a bad way. In a stupid way. In an OG way. Oh, don't hit the runway. That would be really bad and stupid and OG. Oh, come on. Turn. 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 Ah! <laughs> not not close enough. I'll go for the rocket launch pad. Okay, here we go. 
Oh no, Bob. We're in trouble. Your engine's stalled. No, it's not. All I need to do is to... Your engine stalled. Shut up. Deploy the caps. The caps? Yes, the caps. Because Cirrus Vision jets come with a built-in caps. Which is an emergency parachute system. That's what the PS of caps stands for. I don't remember what the CA part stands for, but it stands for something. Go look on their website. And you can really do this on a Cirrus aircraft if you get into trouble. Not only that, they can return themselves to the runway and land themselves. So if you're a passenger and your pilot becomes debilitated, you can get the jet to fly itself home. See why I love these little things? They're really awesome. Okay, Bob. Will we get a safe landing courtesy of our cap system? You better not mess this up. Cirrus, the company is counting on you. This video is not endorsed by Cirrus. Nothing in this video is endorsed by Cirrus. <laughs> Cirrus probably hates this video. <laughs> Subscribe to my channel, Service Aircraft Sold Separately. Battery's not included. Aha! We did it! We did it! Well done, Bob. Oh, look, the thrust miraculously came back. Sort of. It didn't. Where's my thrust gone? What, did you run out of fuel now or something? Bob, you are embarrassing me. There we go. Anyway, that is my little Cirrus, Cirrus SF-50, which Bob has just totaled. Well done, Bob. Well done. <laughs> Welcome to KSP2. OG out.